What's up everybody, it's DVDAS it's Nathan here. Today I'm going to be doing another video and it's going to be a trailer reaction over the Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. I, I personally was not that, didn't think the very, they, I thought the very first one and the very the second one was good. I liked them too because I've seen, I've seen both of them like multiple times or so. I've only seen the remake maybe once, I think once or something. I think most likely once or t maybe this, maybe twice, but in my opinion, I didn't really care for that one. The remake was, they could have done better because I, I feel like they showed too much when they, the trailer came out. And I was hoping to be more, it to be more like the original. Like, I don't have no, like, when it comes to the remakes, I, I don't, I don't, what is it called, expect it to be so much like the original, I expect it to be like, have like some type of like, throw, like kind of like callbacks to the original, and like some similarities, and this movie didn't only had like maybe a few, a two or three, a couple things they had from the original, and I wish they kind of kind of like done it like that in a way, but then again, some remakes you need to make it different because you can't do the redo the whole thing, keep the same thing, just but do different characters. Sometimes you have to for me remake that to make it at least a lot different in a way, but not like completely different to the point like it makes no sense. Um, but anyways, um. Yeah, but this one, the remake from last, in 2019 or so, they did, oh, okay, they did okay, I'll give it like a 6 or a 5 out of 10, um, but I wouldn't watch it again, in a way, if, if I ever see it on TV, I may, I just watch it, but it was like, I intensely wanted to watch it out of, like, out of my opinion, my thought. Anyways, let's get, get into this trailer bit and let's react. Let's, let me just react to it. Okay, sorry. I thought I was not doing good. Hope everyone's having a good day and let's get into it. Uh, uh, no, no, no. This no. Mm mm. It's not deal with that. Think it is. Uh -uh. Oh, bitch, no. Fuck that. Ooh. Oh, bitch. Why did you stop? No, no, yeah, sometimes that is probably better than that type of situation because 
I don't even think the one come back from the dead and see something like that. Like, uh uh. And see something a little off with them. I don't do, do deal with that. Damn. Like, uh uh. I don't. Mm mm. I was. I don't, first of all, if there's like a pet cemetery and I see people like. I, if I ask to see a pet cemetery, I will literally think about this movie and that, like how it scared me as a kid because I watched this damn movie, The Fray, or Bristol, and I was like six years old and it traumatized me because I saw it on TV and it because um, at, at around night, at, at, at like around like six or seven at night, no around like eight o'clock at night, not knowing what the hell it was, I just felt like a little, like the little boy get, ran over and like what the hell that just traumatized me right there but I was like I'm a kid I was a kid when I first time I did and I wasn't expecting that to happen I don't, I've never seen a movie where a kid gets killed I, it's like the, I think one of the first horror movies I've seen a little kid get killed everything that's very like traumatizing because I thought that thing was actually based on a true story and like when I was a kid I felt like everything was based on a true like it's actually happened like I literally thought that in a while because uh, I think because kids have that the type of imagination, thinking everything is real, and they see, they see it in a film. But as you're grown up, you all know it's not real. It's just like something they just filter it and like edit it to be look real. But anyways, no, I'm gonna go there. I've seen like some, this, they're supposed to be dead. Like the person. I say they some got killed, I know, and I thought they're dead, and I just buried them. Like, I see that they have to come back from the grave. Like, no, um, there's something wrong with them. I gotta go. I have nothing to do with that. I have nothing to do with that. Nothing but go to go to your funeral, pay my respects. I'll miss you very much, but once you come out of that grave, uh, uh I'm out of there. I have nothing to do with that. I don't want to do anything with that. I just want to leave and go out. I'm not gonna get near that location. I don't give a damn. And I, I do, I do it the smart way. I want to do the dumb, dumb way that people just stay there and just not go. I just go. Mm mm. Anyways, I think I will watch this movie. I think I will. Yes, I think it looks somewhat better. In the last film, and they didn't give too much away. Well, they kind of did, but then I can understand that most trailers do that. It's very common now. I've been doing that for the last like so many years. They're making a simple like one and a half minute trailer, and like I feel like one minute and a half a minute and a half trailers are like the best amount. Of, like, like. It's like the best part to like the end of video because so it won't show no more up no more of it. Anyways, um, I'll probably definitely take it out and I'll do like I don't think I'll be to it. I just do uh, like a one minute short video, a uh, short like a one minute short view, then it's kind of like spoilers maybe I don't know. It's very it's very like open ended yet or like very something I haven't decided to do yet but anyways um let me know if you're gonna watch this movie or you're thinking about it and comment down whatever videos you would like me to react to and I'll definitely give uh, give uh, you a shout out and I'll be back to that video as soon as I can and yeah if you haven't checked out my other videos go check them out if you'd like to and yeah, I hope everyone have a good day and I'll see y'all later. Bye.